Hey, Jim here from 3J Music with another guitar unboxing. So this is the Ibanez RG6003FM that's for flame maple. Uh, I'm usually more of a plain top guy, but this thing looks great. So about a week ago I was scrolling through Reverb.com and I just happened to come across a used listing of one of these and I just thought it looked really cool. Um, I haven't made an impulse guitar purchase in years. But I did a little bit of research. I wasn't really familiar with this model and come to find out this is actually a musician's friend guitar center um, exclusive. So I went on eBay and I put one on my watch list from musician's friend. These, uh, these go about 349 new and I did a little research. Well, I read a couple of reviews. Went back to the one on Reverb, made the guy an offer. The offer was too close to new price for one that was a few years old. And he wasn't budging on the price. Um, what seems to be happening a lot on Reverb and eBay, when you put something on your watch list, you get offers. So a day later... Um, they had sent back an offer for three twenty, and I thought about it for a day or so, and I accepted the offer, and and here it is. Uh, clearly, this isn't a higher end model, and the specs are kind of run of the mill uh, mahogany body. Looks like two piece. Uh, flame maple top, probably a veneer. Uh, top's a little dirty, some fingerprints and such, but you know that's okay. Uh, Jatoba fretboard, I think. Um, standard tuners, black hardware. I mean, I usually like a little bit of chrome in there to break it up, but or nickel. Um, knobs feel all right and this switch feels pretty good um, these are regular old stock Ibanez pickups um, depending on how I feel about this after I play it for a little while I do have some plans for it uh, these, these are okay the tuners are all right uh, it's a plastic nut Got this little trapdoor deal for the truss rod. I think that's really cool. Um, you know, not a whole lot to really say about it. Kind of a typical super strat style guitar, but that's cool. So on to what's really important. Uh, how does it sound and how does it play? Okay, so we're all tuned up and hooked up to the Friedman IRX with a splash of reverb from the TC Electronic Hall of Fame reverb, uh, the original version. A couple of things I want to mention real quick before we listen to it. Uh, first off, I've done a few affordable guitars recently and uh, fret sprout was kind of an issue with all of them, just about. Uh, the frets on this are perfect. So I was really happy to see that. Uh, nice and smooth, both sides. No sharp edges at all. That's great. Um, 
However, the knot is not quite cut deep enough, um, certainly playable, and pretty close, but uh, just a little high, the strings are a little high. I did give each screw on each of the saddles one full turn to lower the action down a little bit, and maybe less than a quarter turn on the truss rod to give the neck a little bit more relief. Uh, the action was fine out of the box. Um, I just wanted it a little bit lower. Um, I'd like to have it a little bit lower still, but I'm going to have to file the nut slots down first. Uh, right now I want to give it a listen. It's uh, certainly playable. It was certainly playable out of the box. Uh, maybe later on I'll address those other issues. So let's get into it. <laughs> RG6003FM 1P04 You gotta love those names um, Pros and cons Pro I think this thing looks really cool uh, As I said I'm usually a plain top guy but uh, I don't know I just think this looks great I like the flat gray finish uh, I tend to lean toward satin finished guitars necks anyway um, the pickups sound really good I don't know if I'll keep them if I keep the guitar but they do sound really good 
Um, it's super light. I don't have a scale anymore, so I can't tell you exactly what the weight is. That could be a pro or a con, depending on how you feel about light guitars versus heavy guitars. The cons. These tuners, they're not that great. Um, they're okay at best, but these would be one of the first things that I would definitely replace. The nut being cut not deep enough is a con, but it's better than being cut too deep. Um, there's, there's still material to work with there. I did notice there's a few chips on the edge of the fretboard here. I don't know why that is. It's supposed to be a new guitar. Uh, I'm not really too concerned about it. Not really a con because that's hopefully just unique to this guitar. Um, the scratchy switch, which I'm sure you heard during the sound samples, needs to be sprayed. Um, I don't know if you can really call that a con. That kind of thing happens. Uh, otherwise, this is a killer guitar. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments. And as usual, if you found this video useful, uh, please hit like and subscribe on your way out. Thanks.